Stay safe and feel great with this warm up designed to get your blood flowing without putting stress on your joints. Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis, welcome to Follow Me Friday. All standing, no equipment. So you're gonna start by bending that head to the side, tucking that chin down, rolling to the other side, but stop when you get to that other side. Not doing a full circle, just to let our neck be happy. So we're doing a few to each side. One more in the other direction. This should feel good and then move it on. Go ahead and bring those arms up and that knee up. Circle around to really open up that chest and those shoulders. Get a little balance going. Get those hips going too. Ooh, and this one feels good. Lots of cracking going on here in a good way. We're gonna do one more on each side. Ah. Arms are gonna come up again. You can even add a little bend backwards if it feels good. And then you're gonna drop one arm and open and turn. Try to look over that arm if you can, if it feels okay on your neck. Again, getting into the spine, shoulders, and neck all at the same time, right? So when you're ready to start your workout at home, you should be ready to go for sure. We're gonna do one more on each side. You might get a little bit more as we go, of course, making sure that you are still breathing nicely as well, and we're moving on. Bring those feet a little wider than hip distance apart, even wider if it feels good. Hands come to the center. We're gonna shift over to the side and bring our butt back, really stretching out that inner thigh, warming up those glutes. So three, four, five, one more to the other side, and then we're adding on. As I go to the side, I'm gonna bring my arm down and the other arm up, again, looking back if it feels good. If not, just keep your head right down. It's also okay if you don't touch the floor. I've got monkey arms, so they easily reach the floor. And we're gonna do one more to each side. And then we're stepping back into a bit of a lunge. We're gonna step this leg back, press that pelvis forward as those arms come up and step it together, alternating legs here. So again, really press that pelvis forward to stretch out the front of that hip. This is another one of my favorites. All these always feels good to me though. And we're gonna do one more on each side. You can even squeeze into those bunsies a little bit to get a little bit more of a stretch. Feet go out nice and wide again, but this time our toes are turning out. You're gonna clasp those hands in front. I'm gonna come straight down, and as I do, I'm gonna round my shoulders forward to stretch out that back body, and then I'm gonna come straight up, squeeze into my shoulder blades, open up those palms. I just had a little snap, crackle, pop in through those thighs too. So working almost the whole body with this one. This is a great one to do at any time of the day, not even just before a workout. This is our last one here. Woo as I fall over, moving on. Can bring those feet back together a little bit. We're gonna bring that arm up overhead, bend it to the side, and I'm actually gonna turn my body as I sweep that arm forward, shifting my hips back. So this one you wanna make sure that you're doing obviously after the other ones because it does require a little bit more flexibility and your body should hopefully be feeling good by this point. And we're gonna switch sides. So I'm a little teapot and I'm not short and stout, but I am gonna bend around. <laughs> there we go. Three here and then we've got one more to do and you'll be ready to go. Love this. Last one is just the hips. We're gonna bring that knee up like you're lifting it over something and then lifting it back around. Lift as high as you can without having discomfort, right? We're really trying to get that whole hip joint moving here. And I'm gonna do one more, and of course I'm getting another crack there too. I should feel great for when I work out. Here we go, last one, open and together. And remember, it's okay if you can just lift a little bit, listen to your hip, listen to your body at all times. And we've got one more to go. Nice, go get a good workout.